Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello everyone. Now we are nearing um, Halloween, so I wanted to do a video of kind of the fall hygiene items that I've been using um, that I've been really enjoying during the fall time. I'm weird where just because the season changes, I don't automatically want to use certain products. For some reason, like in the summertime, I want to use like fall and winter products, and in the wintertime, I want to use summer products. I don't know if that's just like wanting something that's not happening at the current moment. I don't know what it is, but I've been trying to kind of transition when, according to society, you should transition. Not that that matters. Um, so yeah, these are just some of the hygiene products I've been using and loving this fall. All right, so I have to start out with blueberry sugar pancakes out of the gourmand scents that have come out in the fall. This is one of my absolute favorites, and it's not just that the packaging's blue, because I do like the packaging. However, it's also that the scent is really, really pretty. I think it's slightly lighter than raspberry jam donut, which is better for me because that one I find very strong and I love blueberries. So I've been wearing this and really, really enjoying this. Yeah, this and pumpkin pecan waffle are like the perfect fall time kind of gourmand scents. You do have to like gourmand scents to like these, otherwise they can be a little overwhelming, which sometimes they are for me. but. This one has been lovely. Speaking of a raspberry jam donut, this is here. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. With gourmand scents, when I first get them, obsessed to die for, can't stop smelling them. Then I use them on my body for the first time. And I'm slightly overwhelmed. I can't use a body cream and a body spray of the same fragrance at once because I get so overwhelmed. Unless I just spray like a tiny bit, it's strong. This fragrance is strong. However, I will say I've been using the body cream to try to use it up because these do expire faster. And initially when I put it on, I am a little overwhelmed. But people can smell this on you just from the body cream. And this is a compliment getter. I don't know what it is, but people just think the scent smells so good. And I smell it and I'm like, you smell like a jam donut. Like it smells good, but do you want to smell like you just got donuts? I don't know, but people seem to love this. So this is a highly complimented spray. I plan on doing a video for most complimented sprays pretty soon, but yeah, I've been liking this combination. I am forcing myself to use this up. However, this has been like good, you know? Now I have to talk about the new Hemp's lotions. The Hemp's formula is one of the best out there. I love their lotions. They're so, so good. I like the big pumps, everything. So they come out, came out with their fall scents. I have talked about these before when I got them. They had the pumpkin spice and vanilla chai, and they have the apple cinnamon shortbread, which I got in a mini because the reviews weren't that great for this one. And I must say, I regret not getting a larger size in this because apple cinnamon is shortbread. So I thought the cinnamon would be too strong for me and cinnamon just makes me think of fireball, which makes me think of bad times. It's not a good time, right? But this smells so good and when it settles on my body, it's mostly like a very pleasant apple shortbread scent and the apple is juicy and that comes forward the most and I love apple scents, so I've been absolutely loving this. I do like this a lot as well. It's just like a pumpkin spice and vanilla scent, which is really nice, but I don't use this one as often just because I have to be in the mood for a very foody scent versus this one. Even if I'm in the mood for something more fresh, the apple note gives that to me, so I kind of think this is more universal for me, and I disagree with a lot of the reviews. I really love this one. I wish I had this in a bigger size and this in a smaller size. I know. I'm crazy. These three body washes have been in my shower and I've been using for this fall. I have a marshmallow pumpkin latte, which I've used a little bit of. This one, I don't like this scent in the body care. Marshmallow tends to just be nauseating for me. I'm not sure why marshmallow and things, like vanilla and things is fine. Marshmallow, just there's something about it that even with eating marshmallows, I never really liked that much. So maybe that's why I like marshmallow mixed in things like I like s'mores but if it just has like marshmallow filling I never liked it so maybe it's just a marshmallow thing for me I don't like peeps maybe I just don't like marshmallows I don't know but marshmallow scented things tend to be nauseating and overwhelming for me so this in regular body care I do not like but this was really cheap during the semi-annual sale when I got this and I figured it was the perfect little transition into fall scents and I'm loving this in the shower and I will say I usually use like a kind of like body scrub type 
um, deal versus a loofah, and it's been okay. I used this in a loofah and the scent went everywhere, so I'm just gonna use this with a loofah from now on. It's weird that different, like, things that you use for your shower gel will give off a different scent and a different experience, but either way, I've been really, really enjoying this in my shower to kind of have that fall experience, but then move on from it after, you know? I also have Sugar Cherry Crisp. This is an awesome kind of like cherry pie scent. I love cherries, I love cherry pie. So this has been really nice and I think this can transition to like Thanksgiving time, even Christmas time, I think it'll be a good scent. So I wanna to try to use up my pumpkin stuff first just because that makes me think of like Halloween and then I wanna move on to like more of the fruity gourmand scents for kind of closer to November. And then we have the Native Pumpkin Spice Latte Body Wash. This stuff smells so good. Not marshmallow pumpkin latte, not anything will compare to the scent of this. This is an authentic pumpkin spice latte, keyword spice. It smells so good, it smells refreshing, but not like too heavy candle-like, just like an actual pumpkin spice latte. It smells so good. If you're looking for a fall body wash, check out the native one. Seriously, it smells incredible. Another one I've been loving is Crisp Morning Air. I love this fragrance. So many people just like pass this up, it was whatever, but I love apple scents. And this, to me, with the fresh air aspect, smells so good. This is Crisp Fall Breeze Golden Amberwood Juicy Apple. This has amazing lasting power and it smells like the sweetest, like breeziest apple scent ever. I usually need apple to be mixed with something, like country apple is just too basic for me. It's also just been around forever, so it's never one I gravitate towards, but this just smells so freaking good to me and it lasts on me forever. And I literally had to stop using it because I'm like, I'm gonna need a backup because I don't wanna go through this. So I definitely need to get another one so I can just use it every day because I'm that obsessed with this. I don't know why. I've also been trying to use up coconut cream pie. I've been saving this because I like it so much. Coconut cream pie in the spray is a little too warm and heavy and deep for me, but in the lotion you get more of that like, it almost smells like creme brulee, like coconut creme brulee. It smells so incredible. So yeah, I've been trying to use this in raspberry jam donut, but I wanna use up raspberry jam donut first because I like this one more. And for some reason, I'm one of those people that uses their favorites last, which by the time you use them, they might not be your favorite anymore, so it's just a downhill battle, but let's not talk about that right now. I've also been trying to reach for Whipped Dream. This just smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I definitely will reach for this more in the winter time for sure, because for some reason that cinnamon scent makes me think of like Christmas time. So yeah, I'm definitely trying to use this. I don't want to forget about this one because it is such a good scent. Maybe they'll come back with it this year, but yeah, it just smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and that's just a fun time. Just real quickly, I want to go through these. I'm not going to talk too long about these because I just did a review. But I ended up keeping all three of these and I love them all. This one, Golden Clementine and Amber, I was debating returning just because I don't really like Amber. But the way it mixes with that Clementine note, it's juicy citrus, sparkling pomegranate, warm Amber. Usually pomegranate and Amber are too heavy for me. But some reason, the mix of this is so comforting to me. It makes me feel like a very comforting fall day where I'm dressed in like a business outfit. I think Amber just does that, where it makes you feel a little more sophisticated and expensive. But it mixes well, where it's just like a comfy fall, I'm sophisticated kind of scent. And I went back and forth, do I keep it, do I not keep it, but I kept thinking about it. And I was just like, you know what, I need to keep it. Plus, the packaging on this collection, all of them sitting together is gorgeous. White Pumpkin and Chai is a really good scent, and Ruby Apple and Rosewood is my favorite from the collection. I love this apple scent, it smells really good. All right, you guys, that is everything that I've been using recently. Let me know what you've been using this fall, what's your like number one scent, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.